I used the iPads this morning in our literacy lesson and the objective was for the children to be able to sequence a set of events in order to recount what they did on Friday because we went on a school trip. The process that the children had to go through was first of all they had to learn what a cloud is which they found really interesting because they didn't realise that you could save work in this space which is called a cloud. So they were introduced to Dropbox, um, the children then had to go into Dropbox, find the photograph they needed to sequence and they had to learn how to upload the photographs back up into their own photo library. Once they managed to save all their photos from Dropbox into their photo library, they then opened up an app called Pic Collage. They went into Pic Collage and then they were able to drop in all their photographs that they'd saved and sequence the photographs in order. So at the same time as using their ICT skills, they were also thinking about what they did on the trip and learning the skills needed to recount an event. I feel privileged in a way because I know that um, we're one step ahead and I know that's, that's where you know, the um, ICT is going in the future. I think in the future, children will work on their iPads and everything will be stored in the cloud. They've always, they're always excited when we take, you know, get the ICT software out, whether it's a laptop, whether it's a computer. But with the iPads, I have to say, it's just amazing. And just how fast and how, you know, it's as if it's innate in them. The enthusiasm that they, that they show is, is amazing and it does help with their learning. My vision for the ICT for Krishnavanti, I think, started with my life's experiences, and uh, and that all began on my way back from Kuwait. And um, on this flight, I noticed a little three-year-old boy, and I was amazed at how intuitive he seemed to be using this device and how skilled he was um, at the interface of uh, getting to things, moving things around, working really quickly um, and easily. And it struck me then that that's a far better device to use for teaching ICT and really for teaching so many other things. We're discovering new software which we never thought we could use that can help and support our numeracy for instance. The Tribune staff have been a great help to us. We've had um, some excellent training from them. In fact, some of the staff have even helped us with our schemes of work with ICT, with linking up certain apps with certain subjects and so on. They've, uh, they've been very enthusiastic about our journey and have guided us well. The mirror tool is um, really effective because it allows me to show the children what I've got on my iPad. For example, if I wanted to share this presentation with my class, all I would have to do is double click on this button here and flick along the bottom, press on the mirror tool, choose which room I want to mirror in, so this is my room here, and the mirroring function is on and it is now displayed on my Apple TV screen in my classroom. I can then ask the children to come up to my iPad and complete the activity by dropping and dragging the words and putting them in the right space. 